Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we'll finally be starting the medium by dipping our toes into the psychological horror game that was developed by a small third party studio called Bloober Team. So the medium is a third person psychological horror game that features an innovative dual reality gameplay. Here we'll explore the world and the spirit world in a never before seen and officially painted gameplay that plays across two worlds and two worlds that are displayed at the same time. Being a medium, we'll also use our psychic abilities to solve puzzles spanning both worlds, uncover deeply disturbing secrets, and survive encounters that the, uh, with the Moor, which is an entity born out of unspeakable tragedy. The atmospheric and original soundtrack, co-composed by Akrius Rakowski and the legendary Silent Hill composer Akira Yamaoka. So to my current subscribers, thank you very much to, for your support, you are greatly appreciated. For newcomers to the channel, thank you for joining us in this adventure. And if you like what you see at the end, please leave a like and a comment below. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified when the next upload is available to watch. <laughs> With all that being said, let's jump into the action. Okay, so we're gonna be we're gonna make sure that all our settings are correct. Uh, let's bold out our subtitles. Uh, well, what size? Eh, we'll stick with that size. Okay. Let's continue. New game. It all starts with a dead girl. That was a gruesome beginning. <laughs> Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. People used to think I was strange. If they only knew. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father. Dress him up for his last journey. Put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But 
Looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Okay, looks like we've got some kind of calendar here. Let's uh, get out of here. Shit. Oh. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Jack's room. It's like he never. Damn it. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack. He didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Hey, it's Jeff Bezos. <laughs> oh dear. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and it felt good to be useful. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Exactly. So off the bat, the game looks pretty good. Um, for a double-A studio, they've outdone themselves, really. Uh, they've kind of combined old-school techniques using the, the fixed-angle cameras with uh, with high textures. And I can't believe it's all still here. Oh, Jack. Yeah, with the high textures and... Uh, Oh, okay. Looks like I can develop something. Funeral home key. Uh. Nice. Um. Yeah, it reminds me of the old school point and click games that you used to uh, hmm. play back in the day on I the guess PC. I forgot about this one. I can do it now. Um, I have no idea what to develop here. Right. I need to find this clip. Ooh, look, a meat grinder. Symbolic funeral of the Sierras are mine. The texture quality is quite good. It's almost, almost photorealistic. Looks nourishing. What is that? Oh, cat food. Okay, there's nothing else I can get here. Oh. Ah, the cat's got no food. Let's put some here food you go. In there. What's your face? Glad to see you're still kicking around. Well, at least I've got an achievement for feeding the cat. Nineteen eighty four. Interesting. Okay. Doesn't seem to be anything else in here. Uh, can I run? Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Yeah. I used to have a thing for him. 
Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me... Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them have my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, Pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. Okay. Don't you nice my bed? Nothing around here. So there doesn't seem to be any run run functionality at the moment. Uh, so we're playing at walking pace. Uh, right. The tie clip. Oh. Pull yes. yourself together, Marianne. We've got about the tie clip. Let's have a look. What have we missed? Um, oh, there's something over here. Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. Uh, not that. Oh, what's this? Ah, oh, Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. Uh, press and hold left button to activate right inside. Oh, nice. There you are. Okay, we've got the time clip. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Time to say goodbye. Uh, okay, so you can activate. Now I can activate inside at any time. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Is that something? No. Looks like we're heading downstairs. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. Last goodbye, funeral home. Okay. Uh, open it. Funeral home key. Open the door. Yeah, we're doing well Jackson with these puzzles, prepping. guys. Prepare Jack for his funeral for his funeral journey. Final journey, funeral journey. I completely missed what I said there. Jack. 
Does that say name of deceased? Uh, male, date of birth, crack out, crack out. Additional services, embalming, dressing body. Uh, funeral payment confirmation today. It's in the cabinet. Also, Roberts took Friday off, so we'll need to find someone else for the funeral. Okay. Lovely to know. Lovely to know. this way. Nothing. Okay. This is like playing the old school um, Resident Evil games. Where you're just going to be bumping into random things uh, to see if you can get that, if you can go that way or not. Um, prep room. Let's try the prep room key. Does that work? Yeah. Nice. Okay. I'm in. Um... As always, morgues are always in the basement for some reason. Okay. Not sure if I'm ready for this. Is that another leather, leather jacket there? Interesting. Tie here. Oh, okay, need to open the drawer. Hey, Jack. Wouldn't have it any other way. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, it just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. people read the signs that's closed uh -oh. what's going on okay. check upstairs Shut on its own. Oh god, here we go. What the hell? Whoa! Shh. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Guess you felt it too. Huh? Uh, no, I 
Francis. And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. So much for aging gracefully. Eh? Where is that? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just. What? Let it go. Um, it's not important. You. You are crying. Good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Always. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided, torn between two realities. But no, I was the only one. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... Uh... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh. there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust, trust me. Trust you? 
I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Nemo Resort. Find me there. Please. The light. It's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Shit. Well, that was an interesting start. So, looks like we have to go and meet Thomas, uh, wherever he is. Um, I'm guessing this will be the the start where we go to to this haunted hotel. But in reality, I know for most people it would be a huge pleasure to be able to say final goodbye to someone who you'd love. That, that's passed away. So that's a huge privilege she's got there to be able to have that final conversation before they pass over. But so far, so good. I'm really enjoying the the way this game is uh, being written, and the, the, the progression in terms of the storyline. A bit skeptical on the um, character design, it's... I, I thought it would be a little bit better than what it is, but the environment design is beautiful, almost photorealistic. I just wonder whether it would be... would have been a bit better having a free, free roaming camera, uh, rather than a fixed one, but... I guess that's part of the game design, so we shall explore and see if, if, if it uh, interferes with the gameplay at all as we uh, move on through the story. And off I went, on nothing but a hunch, a call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. Anyone home? I guess not. Hello? Hold Thomas? On, that? Okay. Ah, hold on. Can I jump over that? Can, we, can I get around there? Let me see. Uh, okay, walking around here. It looks like I can get around.
I'm good if I can run at this point. You want to keep me out, Neva? All right, let's go on. We're gonna have to do better than that. So I can't go into the woods. Let's go and check this uh, car. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Until one day it just ah, there we go. I can run stopped. Now. And so an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know, the usual. Randomly. Yeah. Uh, press and hold left huh. buttons. Okay. Hello. So I'm following the footprints. Uh, stop here. Oh no, we carry on. I wonder how long I can hold this for. What's this? T and K, nineteen sixty eight. Uh, excuse my insights, as I say. Oh, okay, there's a handprint, we're going off that way. Random mushroom growing below the tree, yeah. Hold on a second. Hmm. Looks like an old fort. Might be my way in. Looks like footprints are going that way. Morning. Due to recently unearthed remains for renovation, works have been suspended pending archaeological examination. Interesting. Okay. Well, looks... Looks like the footprints are going this way. Something happened here. place had a story to tell, well, I guess I was there to listen. Uh. And so we're going 
straight on. I want to. What's down here, though? Dead. Like everything else in this place. Girl playing with a ball, lovely. I'll tell you what, this is it is a little bit weird playing trying to look at two different perspectives. So it looks like in the spirit world, the actionable um, the button for action. The place felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. Thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely, fragile, waiting for someone to embrace it. Yeah, so to do an action in the spirit world, you have to press A. To do an action in the real world, you press X. That's quite, quite clever the way they split that up. So you don't necessarily do an action in the real world, but you can in the spirit world. Because I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world? Okay, let's get a move in. Where are we at? In any case, I figured I could use it. Energy's energy, right? Yeah, not getting through here. Not with the power out. When you exist in two realities, you're affected by either. I'd learned that the hard way. Press and hold right trigger to charge a spirit blast of the Oh, so that worked. Good for you, Marion. These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. Nice. So there I was, existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. Fire hazard. Um, okay. Hold on a second. We seem to have lost uh, the footprints. They go this way, and they disappear. Okay, let's just follow on. Yeah, there they are. Uh, which way are we going? This way? No footprints. This way? Oh, no footprints. Hold on. I've just seen a deer. Oh. What happened to you? Nice. Okay. Nothing there. Okay, let's head up this way. Have I got the footprints back? Yeah, there they are. 
Players Conference. I've seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. Is that something reacting with it or interfering with the speakers? Uh, I've lost the footprints. Where are they? We're heading towards the hotel. It's over here. Hey, old timer. Now, what's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? Doubling as a spare bedroom, apparently. Interesting. Hope you don't mind if I, uh, pop your trunk. Uh, my love, summer is full in, sw in full swing, results stuffed with gills. I was once screw this up, not this time, I promise. F. Who's F? Wrench might be there. Although, Screwdriver might be useful though. This could come in handy. Nice. Ow! Shit! What the hell? No one here. Where was there? Hold on a second. There's the footprints. Then there's more of the butterfly over here. No, I think we're good. Horizons, nice. New Soviet spacecraft soon to depart. Uh, handheld mobile phones, future of communication, global eradication of smallpox, the greatest medicine achievement of our time. Okay, it was 1993. It's quite quite useful um, where they've got these chalk markers on the on the ground, just to give you a little bit of uh, guidance, like subconscious guidance, and uh, where where to go. All right. 
supplies. Um, there's nothing there. What's down here? Can't get through that. Okay. Okay, we've got footprints here. Nice. Hello? Anybody in there? Okay. That's locked. Locked. Obviously. There's got to be another way. Must be a smashed window somewhere. Looks like the butterfly markers seem to be clues. There we go. So began the great dumpster heist of 1999. Can't go that way. Huh. Oh, hold on a second. Can I move this? I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. You better be worth it. Ah, this is much more up there, okay. Shirts, suitcases, ripped apart, and someone lost a shoe in the process. That was freaky. True. I need to find this Thomas guy and get the hell out of here. Uh, okay. Is there a way around here? No. Okay. Hello? Anyone? Thomas? You there? Duckling. So we'll look at the uh, hotel plans. So we're here. Three, four, five. Okay. Lobby reception elevator. Pool, sauna, day room. Pool is five. Sauna is six. Where's the day room? Seven. Oh, seven. Ah, right. Okay. Good. Anything behind reception? Can I open this door? Got time for London. Warsaw. Moscow. That's it. I can't see the last one. Um, okay. There's nothing behind here. Um, Guest book. Um, 
Don't see any Thomas in the registrar. Uh, red registrar? Re register? For 10 years here. Where is Mike Elson? Sinners be damned. Okay. There's a little poster of a ballerina. Vivian, the star of the Bolshoi Theater. It's the Bolshoi Theater in Moscow, I'm assuming. Unless there's one in Poland as well. That's strange. There's a torch with a battery. Yep. Hello? Some, someone's Thomas? been here recently. Easy, Marianne. It's just a good old fashioned haunted hotel. Calm your ass down and answer the bell. Flickering lights, ghostly presence, okay. Pretty cheerful to me. <laughs> well, it's what I remember. Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. But I don't remember what it was. Your friends? Oh, yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. Uh, but, but they're all gone now. Did something happen to them? Mm. I don't really want to talk about it. That, that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. I can imagine. This place must have been... Oh, yes. So busy. People coming and going. All the time. <laughs> Always someone to play with. Must have been nice. It was. Not anymore. So. Tell me. What happened? Uh, I, I remember. People stopped coming. Uh, only a few of them stayed. They became very sad, very angry. They might hurt you. <laughs> Thanks. That I can take care of myself. Hey, I was wondering, have you seen... Marianne? <gasps> yes. Well, would you play with me? Just for a little while. It, it, it's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay, okay. But I need your help first. Yes. Uh, yes! Uh, anything I'm you can! for a man. Thomas. Do you know him? Uh, let me think. Uh, I've heard that name before. Uh, so Take your time. Uh, oh, yeah. The second floor! We can look there! Come on! Hurry, oh, Wait! 
I can't go that way. <sighs> mm. Damn. Stairs broken I need in the real world. There somehow. Hey, an elevator. Might as well see if it works. Uh, where are we going? Second floor? Sadness. I wished I knew her real name. Spark it up. Okay. Um. Gotta move fast. Oh, God. oh, there's a thing down there. An out of body experience. It's like taking a plunge into nothingness. Stay under for too long and it just pulls you in. Now get your ghostly ass back and power up that elevator. Come on. Oh, hold on. These are really <gasps> Every time to my body. Ah, it's like a fast travel option. It's quite good. Manager's office, meeting room, and elevators. Uh, okay, so she went. Where, which way did she go? So she went towards the manager's office. Okay. Huh. What is? This? Sadness? Okay. Not getting through here. Uh, so I, know I need something to get through there. Okay.
Okay, I don't see anything out. Is a disturbing. Okay, is it? Ah, phone. Uh, okay. Not going to do anything. Looks like the only way. Great. Spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. What is that? Some objects soak up moments from the past. Just squeeze on the right spot and let it pour out. Sunflower weary of time for my favorite nurse. Oh, Mr. Tarkovsky, you shouldn't have. Please, it's the least I can do for all the good work you do around here. Huh. An actual happy memory. So there's more to this place than just doom and gloom. Ah, sunflower weary of time. Oh! An old prescription. I know these drugs all too well. Shit, there are thousands of them. I'm gonna need more energy to get through. Sadness. Okay. useless old hag why would he care any more than the others <laughs> it's more than grief more than despair this letter crushed her spirit okay, 
Dear Ursula, you're probably wondering why I would write this letter instead of expressing myself directly. The reason, I'm afraid, is painfully simple. Ooh, hold on. Uh, I'm writing this because I'm a coward, because I could, couldn't could bring myself to look at you in your eye, in the eye and say what is meant to be said. What must be said. Because... Wow, this moves very quickly. Um, because the mere thought of breaking your, the heart of someone so delicate, so fragile, is simply more than I can bear. Ursula, my dearest Ursula, these past few months have brought joy to my heart to know where they are for me, to feel freedom, uh, to feel our friendship blossom. This is a hell of a long letter. <laughs> uh, and yet that's all it can be. Friendship. Close, pure, true, but never more. Please try to understand. Being this close, this exposed to someone has never been easy for me. Life and its struggles have let me uh, have left me changed, damaged in ways you, could, you couldn't possibly comprehend. You deserve someone to hold you, to share life's joys and sorrows with you. I wish I could be that person, but I'm not. Words cannot express my regret, as I know deeply in my heart this marks the end of our friendship. Please forgive me, forever our, our friend, forever your friend, RT. Wow, that was a long ass letter. Okay. All right. Well, guys, the hour is up. This this has been a really good introduction into the game. What the and what's going to come forward between us, uh, go, what's going to come to us <laughs> in the future. We've uh, finally met that little girl, um, and she's essentially becoming our guide through, throughout this hotel. Um, in the next episode, we're going to go and find this girl, uh, we're going to find our way out of this room, um, and try to find Thomas. Because that is the main story at the moment. Um, there might be twists and turns in the plot, but uh, we we'll, shall see where it heads, where it takes us. So, in the meantime, for those of you who are new to this channel, please do subscribe, hit that like button if you have enjoyed the video, and hit the bell icon if you want to be reminded next time I upload the next part uh, to this episode. In the meantime, to all my current subscribers, thank you very much for your support. Your subscriptions are hugely uh, appreciated um, to allow this channel to start to grow my name is Denchi I shall see you in the next one cheers guys